Hello welcome to Relation Tales. Today we're going to have some more stories from Reddit. But before we start, it would be so much appreciated if you would subscribe to my channel, like the video if you enjoy it, and maybe leave a comment down below. These simple clicks would mean a lot to the future of this channel and really reward the effort that I put in every day. And now, without further ado, let's go. Here is my story. Today, we have a story of a man who did this when he found out his wife has been cheating on him with a guy she met through work. Here's the full story with an update. It hurts too much. It hurts whenever I think about what has happened for the past 7 to 8 months. Perhaps a couple of months ago, I recall seeing a casual text exchange of just two messages between my wife and a guy named P that she knows through work. He doesn't work in the same place, but they met through another work-related program. The messages were flashing on her phone, which she left on the kitchen counter, so by pure chance, I saw them. The messages were a bit flirtatious, but I didn't think much of it, so I didn't confront my wife about them specifically. However, I would hint to her that I read on Reddit how people who cheat would typically cover their tracks well and delete all their messages on their phone. We've been facing a bit of a challenge with our intimacy lately, experiencing what feels like a dead bedroom situation. I've been delving into resources about libido and ways to navigate this issue. I've noticed she never takes the lead in initiating intimacy. And even when I make attempts, they often get turned down despite being pretty standard. About a month ago, she opted for an IUD for birth control. While I'm not a fan of using protection, it wasn't something we'd argued about before. I didn't dwell on it much, assuming she wanted things to feel more spontaneous, hoping it might alleviate the dead bedroom situation. Last Memorial Weekend, she brought us over to P's house for a BBQ among a couple of other friends. We met his wife and kids, our kids played with theirs and all enjoyed the time. I even helped out with cooking with P and his wife. By the way, it doesn't help that I work at a startup and work schedule is crazy. Her work is very busy too as she's also a rank and file. Fast forward to last night. I came home from work around 9.30pm and she was in the shower. Some sixth sense in me told me to check her phone just to see what she's been up to. Yes, my bad, you can judge me all you want. I specifically noticed there are not a single text message with this P guy, which is completely unusual since she talks about him periodically. I hopped online into the account for our wireless family plan and dug into billing details, and that's when my heart broke. For every day except perhaps Sundays, for the past 7 to 8 months, she texts back and forth numerous times with P about once or so a day. They would also have calls when she got out of the shower. I confronted her with the info, and that's when she fessed up. She met him through a work-related program, and they would be at week-long off-site meetings every month or two. She claims they have never touched each other, she swore on our children's lives. But this has been going on for 7 to 8 months. There have also been 4 or 5 of these week-long off-site meetings where they obviously had to stay overnight at hotels, etc. A couple of things to ask for your advice. Should I even believe her that they never touched each other? What should I even do? She apologized profusely, but I think it's more like she's sorry she got caught. I strongly feel like P's wife has got to know. It's not even cool that I'm the only victim dealing with this. Wife wants to keep this to just ourselves and resolve and doesn't want his wife to know. Via the BBQ, I have P's wife's email address and phone number. Any help is appreciated. Please, I cried myself to sleep, and I haven't cried for a very, very long time. Edit, I now see email threads where they call each other love and how much she sees his image lookalikes everywhere she goes and how much she wants to be in his arms and how much he wants her in bed with him. Holding his crap. Etc. I forced a three-way conference call with P just now and told him to go screw himself. Both P and wife tried to tell me that they have decided to end this relationship. I also told him I will tell his wife, which of course he begged me not to. I only have his wife's work phone, and she's not working today, so I just emailed her a short message. Edit 2. She fessed up about them having kissed and touched each other, but no actual pie sex, and I'm so horrified. I'm not sure what else to believe. Edit 3. P's wife now knows. She left me a voicemail, so I know for sure she knows. She said in the voicemail that she's dealing with it as best as she could and is not yet ready to hear all the details. Update. It's been slightly over a month since I uncovered my wife's affair. Roughly two weeks post-discovery, my curiosity led me into her email account, where I stumbled upon more archived emails between the two of them. She wasn't aware that simply deleting emails doesn't permanently erase them. It revealed that their physical intimacy began back in January. I learned she used our unique signature in her affectionate emails to him. Additionally, a couple of weeks ago, amidst my persistent questioning, she drank heavily and shared some details. They engaged in physical intimacy three to four times during their three-week conferences. They clandestinely met during their conference nights. Without using protection, he relied on withdrawal. Though they supposedly agreed that the affair would end by late May, ongoing emails and texts into early June proved otherwise. This revelation caused me immense pain. 
Encountering pregnant women, even strangers, triggered intense worry. What if she had conceived? Thankfully, she hadn't. I need to get tested, though, it's a must. I've been plagued by obsessive thoughts. Does she confuse us at times? She claims we're vastly different, so she doesn't. Would she regret not pursuing her affair? Unlikely, especially if our relationship thrives. And then there are more intimate inquiries. What positions did they try? Did she derive pleasure from it? Who initiated intimacy? Did she perform certain acts? Did they indulge in moments in the shower? Did he satisfy her, etc.? However, delving into these questions, especially the ones I dread most, would only fuel further obsessive thoughts. Perhaps it's better not to know. I might never find out and perhaps wish never to do so. My wife has been completely apologetic. She showed me how terrible she feels for bringing so much pain to me. Many tears, lots of apology. I would get flashbacks and other obsessive thoughts, and she would try to comfort me. However, when things got really tough for me, she would withdraw. Each time she sees me in so much pain, the guilt is too much on her, and she just wanted to go hurt herself for it. I, of course, don't want that. Strangely, we have been getting very close and have been having a lot of kissing, affection, and yes, even sex, at least once a day, sometimes twice. No more dead bedrooms for me. She longs for the attention that I now fully give her, and the sex comes naturally. It feels like we are dating again. And that's unbelievable. Interestingly, she was really tired one day and turned me down for sex. She had to get up really early the next day. The following day, I was an idiot and got mad. I told her she had no right to refuse lovemaking from me since she presumably didn't refuse lovemaking from that idiot. My words. She nodded and had no problem agreeing to have sex with me every day. That night, I felt terrible and apologized to her. I said that I had no right to ask that of her. I truly want her to desire me, and I crave her attention and affection like she does of me. Sex is not the only thing I'm after, and I do not ever want her to feel trapped or obligated to have it with me. That would be a terrible life for her and for me. She told me, under no uncertain terms, that he was nothing to her. She simply used him because he gave her the attention she wanted. She said she was lost and became selfish. She told me she doesn't even think of him now. Likely, she has suppressed him out, as my interpretation, and that I'm the one who would bring him up when I do have my flashbacks. I made it clear to her that if this ever happens again, I won't be sticking around. Obviously, she promises that will not ever happen again. I draw strict boundaries about her never having any contact with him again. And if he ever makes any form of contact, I'd be the first to know. I realize, as I always have since the day I met her, that I hopelessly love her. But I also know that if her heart doesn't belong with me, I'd rather let her go. I told her that much. The duration and extent of the affair showed me that they were heavily involved and in love with each other. I told her I'll do my best to show her how much I love and admire her. I also apologized for working too many long hours, disrespecting her work at times in the past, and not giving her the attention she deserves and I truly want to give. We took each other for granted, and that should never happen. For the past week, my obsessive thoughts have greatly subsided, thank goodness. Otherwise, I showed my love to her every chance I have, and she does for me. We text and email each other while at work. We easily spend 3-4 to four hours per night talking. I truly feel good about how we are doing. We are getting counseling and therapy. I strongly feel we have a great chance at building an even stronger marriage moving forward. We now notice so many unhappy couples around us, even our own close friends. We know better, in focus and giving each other full attention and affection. I bet those couples might feel jealous or perhaps think we are nuts if only those people know what we have been going through. Here's a great book I'd like to share. Not Just Friends, Rebuilding Trust and Recovering Your Sanity After Infidelity by Shirley Glass. Summary, affairs can happen to even good relationships. Guard yourself against it. Don't ever engage in any intimate conversation with a non-partner, spouse. It all starts out with oh, we are just friends. Proceed with both eyes wide open. My opinion, to salvage this marriage, address her with the information you possess without revealing the source. Capture screenshots and securely store all the evidence. Although it may be challenging, act as if you are unaware of any findings. Evaluate if she is willing to put in the effort to preserve the relationship. It appears that your spouse is seeking an exit from the marriage, as she has emotionally disengaged and may not be distressed by the prospect of divorce. It is advisable to consult with a legal professional in preparation for potential legal proceeding. Good luck and stay strong. Story 2. We have been together for 7 years, married for 5. We do not have any children. We both work in healthcare emergency services at different employers and work long shifts, 24 hours on with days off between. For the past 6 months or so, my wife has been becoming increasingly critical, more argumentative, and set off by small issues. She is taking classes currently, 
and I contributed this behavior to stress related to her class load. This culminated in a conversation she had with me in mid-September where she presented me with two ultimatums. The first was that she told me she was moving across the country to another city to pursue her career, and that if I was not willing to move with her, I needed to file for divorce. My primary concern with this first issue is that I was never informed of her decision prior to her making it. At the very least, I needed to be included in the conversation since it would impact both of us. Of course, the second item she presented was a desire to not have children, ever. According to her, this surprised me because prior to this, we were trying for a child and had discussed having a family together. Up until this time, as you can imagine, this was really concerning to me and hurt me a lot. She and I both talked about it at length over the next few weeks. She eventually remarked she would be willing to consider moving to another city, not just the one she had presented, but that she didn't like where we lived and wanted to explore new experiences elsewhere. Near the end of September, my wife was moved to another area at work and was assigned a partner. This guy is going through a divorce, and my wife told me he was in a relationship with his last partner that soured before my wife was assigned to work with him. They seemed to get along well, and she stated she enjoyed learning from him. But for all I could tell, it was a normal, platonic work relationship. I found out the first week of October that she and him were working out together. She told me and acted like it wasn't a big deal. She told me she enjoyed having him there because he was a good encouragement to her and pushed her to do better. I told her that I didn't want her to be in a position where she could have an inappropriate relationship and to protect herself in that regard. She agreed and emphasized that she had no interest in him other than him being a co-worker. I told her again to be careful since we were working on our own issues, as listed above. A few days later, I also learned that she and him had gone out to eat after working out a couple of times. She was the one who told me. I also noted she had changed the passcode to her phone was becoming very protective over it, something she has never done before, and had I messaged threads to him. After this, I told her she needed to leave him at work and not hang out with him outside work. I felt uncomfortable with the relationship. She assured me she didn't feel anything for him and that he was just a co-worker. She agreed to stop spending any time with him other than being on the clock at work. I never learned of any other meetings or them working out again after this point. Fast forward to the other day. For all of October and into November, my wife and I have been talking about our differences and how to strengthen our relationship. I was home and wanted to watch a series on Netflix. I decided to use my wife's iPad that I rarely use. When I opened it, the iPad had an iMessage thread with her coworker. Curious, I took a look and discovered they had been talking to each other in September and October. Oddly, the thread ended mid-conversation. More on this later. Most of the messages were normal coworker things. But my wife did wish her coworker a happy birthday and called him babe once. He also called her dear on multiple occasions. There was also a message where he asked if he could talk to her about that thing. And she said no because she was beside me. I kept digging and found an iMessage thread between my wife and her best friend. The best friend lives in another state, but they message regularly. In this thread, I found more very concerning messages. Basically, my wife admits to falling for the coworker and asks for advice on how to deal with the situation. My wife also asks for advice on how to delete her iMessages permanently. After my wife got home, I noticed she no longer had an iMessage thread on her phone to her coworker, meaning she had deleted the messages. I also saw that she had deleted any messages in the deleted folder under iMessage. Additionally, I looked up our cell phone bill and noted about 10 or so 1 to 2 hour calls between them in the last 2 months. They had just a few SMSs that I could see. It is clear my wife is involved in an emotional relationship with this guy and has lied about it to me and attempted to cover her tracks with it. I need advice if I should confront her now with the evidence I have acquired to see if I can get her to admit to the relationship or any possible physicality to it, or if I should wait and try to gather for information. If this is your recommendation, could you provide tips, tricks on how I should go about this? I have a hard line of cheating, and she is aware of that, and I'm still considering my options regarding that. Thank you all for taking the time to read this. I will do my best to reply as soon as I can. My opinion, to salvage this marriage, address her with the information you possess without revealing the source. Capture screenshots and securely store all the evidence. Although it may be challenging, act as if you are unaware of any findings. Evaluate if she is willing to put in the effort to preserve the relationship. It appears that your spouse is seeking an exit from the marriage, as she has emotionally disengaged and may not be distressed by the prospect of divorce. It is advisable to consult with a legal professional in preparation for potential legal proceedings. Good luck and stay strong. Story 3. A few days back, I discovered my wife had an affair. 
We agreed she'd stay at a friend's and leave the house. Last night, around midnight, she came to the house and let herself in. I was in the bedroom with the door locked, asleep. She started banging on the door, insisting she wanted to shower. It was an aggressive scene, so I declined and recorded her actions for about 30 minutes. Throughout, she yelled, argued, and eventually calmed down. I repeatedly asked her to leave, expressing my fear due to her behavior and feeling unsafe. She remained indifferent. This morning, she was on the couch, accusing me of being abusive for locking her out of the bedroom and shower. There's another bedroom and shower she could have used, although we never used them. We had agreed she'd sleep at a friend's. Since then, she's aggressively found fault in everything I do, walking, talking, and lashing out. I feel extremely intimidated and have repeatedly asked for more respectful behavior. My issue is this, I'm feeling genuinely frightened because of her. I don't feel safe sleeping and fear she might harm me. I would leave if I could, but I'm in her country, far from friends and family. I'm writing this as evidence and seeking advice. Am I at fault for not opening the bedroom door at night? How can I better this situation? Perhaps inform her family. She's adamant about not involving anyone and even refuses to delete the Instagram of the man she had an affair with. She fears it might attract attention, wishing to bury and forget the past year. My opinion, Opus, inform both her family and yours about the situation and consider changing the locks. She engaged in a sexual encounter with another individual and, unable to return to her friend's residence, she has come back to you. Her attempts to intimidate you suggest a desire for control. She is uncomfortable with you taking charge of the situation and wishes to move back. Due to a lack of alternative options, display assertiveness and maintain eye contact as you insist that she leaves. The more you assert yourself without reacting to her provocations, the more likely she is to withdraw and reduce her aggression. Good luck and stay strong. That's the story. If you liked it, please support us with a like as well as subscribe to our channel. Write in the comments what you think about the story. Thank you for being here with us.